What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here at the Sushi Traveler. I'm your host. Did you guys just hear that? Whoa, kind of fell off balance. Oh my gosh. You guys, look who it is. This guy is the real Chef Rush. <laughs> the real, the real Chef Rush. <laughs> there, there, there's been many, but this is the real one. The real one. <laughs> chef, I, I appreciate once, you know, once again for joining me on this incredible episode. As you guys can see, you know, this spread in front of us. Um, but first and foremost, before we dive right in, why don't you tell you know the audience, you know, exactly who you are and you know what you what you do. So, long story short, I am the real Chef Rush, actually Chef Rush. Everybody knows me as a White House chef, also a decorated combat vet, which I usually have my decorations on. But I was so excited about coming here, and if you see this spread, you'll know why. Um, I'm a retired military vet, uh, Army. I do a lot of push-ups for a lot of different causes. Most, my number one is suicide awareness prevention, also kids, also sexual trafficking, also women's rights so many different things it doesn't matter i still push for them so i'm lucky to be here with my friend day uh to eat some sushi and break some i say break some bread we're gonna break, <laughs> we're gonna break some fish today we're gonna break some bread <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can also uh you know follow this man right here uh real chef rush on instagram and uh you know definitely take uh, take a look at his uh, youtube channel as well some great i mean videos on there i mean just amazing uh, you guys will really enjoy so Definitely give my man a follow here. Follow me too, because remember, this video, 100,000 followers on Instagram, guys. If it wasn't for you guys, you know, this couldn't happen. So I appreciate it, for, you know, first and foremost, I appreciate this man right here for being on this episode. I couldn't be any happier. So once again, let's go ahead and we're going to dive right in, right? We're going to enjoy some sushi and just, just like... I, I, I'm a loss of words, so let's just dive right in. Okay. All right, Chef, so we're going to dive right in. As you can see, there's so many different choices that we could, I mean, possibly think of. Uh, not only that, but we got some uh, little, I guess you can call it dressing, or uh, it's, a, it's a sauce. It's, a it's sauce. called yuzu kosho. Yuzu kosho. It's a, it's a very peppery sauce. Um, so use it sparingly, unless you like spice, then put it on off. Doesn't matter. And then you got some uh, fresh pickled wasabi, also known as Kizami wasabi. And that stuff is amazing, literally on anything. And yeah, oh, you can tell the heat, right? It's good. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of just dive right in, kind of go through what you know each and everything is, just to you know, build up the palate and kind of, because we're here at Yakumi Sushi in Burbank, California. The weather outside is beautiful, but you know what? We're in California in July. It is hotter than blazes out there, so we gotta stay in the air conditioning. I mean, come on. But yeah, let's start eating. Let's I'm go. hungry. Where are we going? We're just going one on one. Just yeah, just go one on one. Okay, I love it. Have this yellowtail with this jalapeno going on. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Ching. Ching. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I'm just gonna dive right in. Wow. What'd that's you fresh. think? That's fresh. That's really fresh, right? That's, that's really, really nice. That is super good. Oh, forgot to go get some uh, wasabi. Yeah. So you guys know how we got to do it here. You got to put some wasabi, or not wasabi. <laughs> soy sauce. There you go. <laughs> so put some soy sauce on there for you guys. And uh, it's kind of, you know, uh, also known as a uh, shoyu. All right. I'm gonna do some uh, yuzu kosho. I love this stuff, really peppery, but you know what? Mm. Bursts umami flavor. I mean, just amazing. Trying that, <clears throat> oh wow, yeah, it got to me. <laughs> but, trying the, yeah, but trying that for the first time, chef, what'd you think? This right here is, you could literally, like you said, have it on anything. And I'm a spice guy, just this. And a little bit goes a long way, so... Yeah, exactly, exactly. Being choked. <laughs> that was the reason why. But that, that was the reason. profile is out of control. I mean, you don't know what's going on in your palate. I mean, seriously, it's like 
It's like jumping. It's like jumping jacks. Oh, yeah. Or fireworks <laughs> or crackers. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Makes your taste buds jump with joy. Uh, let's, do, uh, let's do this crab next. Wrapped up in uh, some soy paper. Looks really delicious. Uh, we'll do a little dunk of some soy sauce there. I'm going to put the whole thing in my mouth. That is actually really light. That's like, like very mellow. But going after that yellow tail on there with that heat, with that uh, jalapeno, it kind of mellowed it out really, really well. What else should we try? You want to do the, you want to do the tuna next? Yeah. Let's do the tuna. Look, mine came with a little flour. Did yours come with a flour? Mine, I think I ate it. Oh, you, ah, oh, man. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little flour on mine. It was too pretty, you know? <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. I mean, the color on that tuna is amazing. A little bit of the uh, kizami wasabi there, too. Just beautiful. Wow. Got to have that salmon, guys. The salmon with that sesame seed toasted on the top of that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, man. Mmm. I didn't wait for that. Ooh. There's some truffle in there. I love when they add truffle, right? Yeah. Right? I love when they add truffle to salmon. It's so good. Right? I love it. Oh, it's so good. So good. All the names of like all these dishes, by the way, will be in the description. And I, I need to give a quick shout out to my camera guy, the one and only Mr. Steve Cha. You can find all his information in the description and check out his channel. It's Rockstar Eater amazing guy and you guys will love his la scene orange county scene any scene here in southern california take a look at this guy he does magic and you can also find my info in the description as well too you guys already know who i am i don't need to give any intros anymore but let's try this next thing here what is, this got like avocado, avocado some salmon some stuff going on here I, I, what else is in there it looks like a little bit of jalapeno going on Look at that. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Mmm. Mm. Wow, that crunch on there, right? Mm. Crunchy and creamy. Crunchy and creamy, that's Crunchy right. Crunchy creamy, the avocado. Avocado. The salmon just melts away. Oh, man. Right? Heaven. Heaven in a bite. I'm really excited to try these because these are like. I, I like that. Yeah. Like, there is a. Oh, man. These little. What do you call them? There's like little popping things on them. Uh, I want to say like puff rice, maybe, but I mean, what do you guys think? Puffed rice, right? Let me know in the description. Puffed rice. And on the inside, you got some, it looks like some spicy salmon. I could be wrong. And if I am, remember, all the information's in the description, but cheers. That's a different texture. Mm. Very different. A little tougher on the outside, yeah. but I can kind of see why, because it kind of like, what do you think? Mellows the inside, that spice? It, does, <clears> it, space it kicks you, yeah, at yeah, the, the end. Yeah, spice comes at the end. At the end, right? Right, you don't expect it, you don't know it's there. You don't know it's there, that's right. Until you just chew it off. <laughs> <laughs> but that is one of their specialties. So definitely try that out when you're here at Yakumi here in Burbank, California. Some yuzu kosho on it, let's, let's, let's go crazy. Let's, let's go crazy. Look at that. Put enough on there? Right, you know what? Let's put a little. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Gotta be generous with the yuzu. Yeah, gotta be generous with it. Oh man, we'll do a little uh, soy sauce action there. Let's and then, all. that's right, boom. Tea. You gotta do the sushi happy dance. That's amazing. Oh man. I could do that all day. Oh yeah, all day even long. With, even with that spice? There's two types of spices. You got a hot spice that just, people say, oh, my stuff is so hot and spicy, and it goes absolutely nowhere. You're like, okay, get it out of my face. And then you got that spice where it's like, now that's some good spice right there. Yeah, right? <laughs> and that's what that spice. is. That's like straight up umami mm -hmm. spice. Like you want it to burn, and you're okay with that. Oh, man. I am like just super excited about just having this meal. 
with this man right here. I mean, you know, just, I, I, I'm at a loss for words. You know, having a celebrity for the first time on our show is one of the best things I could ever thousand. Hundred thousand, Mr. One Hundred Thousand, right here. You know. Oh man, that's, I appreciate it. Me. No, no, I, I appreciate that is it. Right there. <laughs> it's hard to do that. It is. You know? It is, and you know, thanks to you guys again, once again, couldn't be any happier. Hundred thousand on Instagram, and you know, like I said, if it wasn't for you guys, couldn't make the dream come true, right? But we're here enjoying some sushi with Mr. Chef Rush. Couldn't be any happier. Thanks again for joining me, buddy. No, no, I appreciate my it. My pleasure. My pleasure. But uh, I'm gonna, I want to try this salad right here, the seaweed salad. Oh. Well, I mean, seaweed salad, I think seaweed. I've only had it in like poke. I don't think I've eaten it out of like an actual sushi bar before. So, and you go, what do you got there? I'm you got the spice, the cucumbers. That's cucumbers, man. It has a little spice to it. But I'm a fan of a seaweed salad for sure because that's a vibrant color. But this marinade, it just takes in all that heat and all that flavor from that marination. Absolutely, absolutely. So, and each, uh, each of these, by the way, actually come with a salad that you can choose from here at Yakumi. Mm. That crunch factor in that, wow. Crunch factor. Yes, yeah, in that, right? Oh, man. So good. Where, where do we even go next? What, what haven't we tried yet? We're talking a lot. <laughs> we're, you know what? You know, it's, it's for the fans. Been, I know it's for the fans. <laughs> and that's, that was my point, because I'm trying to subdue myself with it, because <laughs> otherwise, I'd be like, they call it gluttony, I call it hungry. <laughs> And I'm always hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. Believe me. Uh, What's next? Let's do, um, let's do this. This is the uh, albacore. Got a little crunch to it as well. Look at that. And uh, these are like garlic chips on it. Mm. Now, being part of the tuna family, that albacore is really, really good. Oh, Nothing in your mouth. Yeah, right? Oh. Really good. Just went away. It's gone, right? It's gone. But just so our fans know, when you do ginger in between pieces of nigiri, I know we haven't been, but you know what? It's for the show, guys. It's for you. This is a palate cleanser. Try to do it in between fish. Take away that taste. And you go on to the next piece. A little etiquette for you guys. And it's so good also. Yeah, it's so tasty, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of the things that I'm going to do that I've never done is I'm going to do a double take, okay? And what I mean by that is I'm literally going to take two pieces Ooh. at once, okay? I haven't done that yet, but you know what, Chef? It's always a first for everything, right? First. That's impressive. Look, two pieces oh, right there. Is this a spicy tuna? This is spicy tuna, well, yeah. some of this on top of that. Make it even more spicy. Let's do it. Right? I, Let's, I mean, I like that. Let me try that with you. Yeah, absolutely. Is it okay if I double team with you? Absolutely. Double team with the double take with the double dip. <laughs> <laughs> That's double trouble for you right there. All right. You're going to put some of that yuzu kosho, a little bit of uh, kizami wasabi. Got to make it spicy. Yeah, nice and spicy. All right. Then you got to take it at an angle because it's difficult to take it both at I the just same time. Yeah, is that <laughs> <laughs> double stack? Double stack. <laughs> All right, we're doing this. Ready? Go. Magic <laughs> and spice. <laughs> yeah. That one is a. Uh, I'm gonna need a little water. A little water for that one. But honestly, that spicy tuna is really darn good. I mean, <clears throat> I think, hands down, probably the best spicy tuna I think I've ever had. Honestly, to tell you the truth, it's, it's mellow, but just enough spice where it doesn't kick your ass. Excuse my French, but... <laughs> and I don't know if you can concur with me, but that spice level of that tuna... It was perfect. Perfect, right? I mean, it's a spicy tuna. The tuna was amazing, but that spice note was just like, I don't know, it's on that perfect level of spice. Like, let me visit, but not stay too long. Yeah, you know? it was like that. Like, 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 an, of, like what you want to do with an in-law, right? This, even with this, you know, so it like complimented it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. 
That's kind of like an in-law, right? You want them to visit? You just not stay that long, right? Sorry, guys. Love the in-laws. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're missing one more thing, Chef. Oh, yeah, this tuna, the yellowtail. Yellowtail, and what is that? That's a little bit of a negi. Now, negi, if you guys don't know, is actually uh, chopped. It's like a chopped onion, like green onion slash scallion. It's really good stuff. Usually they mix it with uh, some toro, you know, get some negi toro going on. But here it looks very refreshing. Chef, go ahead, take a bite. Let me know what you think. And let's do it without soy sauce and without anything. Just regular. Let's just go, yeah, straight fresh straight. right there. See this? The straight fresh. Mm. That negi? Compliments it, right? Refreshing. Very. It is. Nice, nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna do it. Regular also. Hmm. Let's get rid of the ginger and let's make that the palate cleanser right there. <laughs> That's how fresh it is. I mean, that was amazing. This is so delicious, right? It is. Oh wow, that yellowtail is just. You gotta finish it off. That you got, you gotta finish, you gotta it, finish off. it off. All right. Let's, let's do a little uh, sushi uh, so, uh, soy sauce dip right there. Mm. Even better. <laughs> that saltiness, so much umami flavors going on right there. Just absolutely delightful. Couldn't be any happier. So, Chef, what did you think about the, uh, the food here? Can you I'm, tell? <laughs> I mean, we... I mean, we, what, seriously, you ask that question, I, can you... I, you know. I mean... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm stuffed. I'm full. That was some great food, as you can see. Plates are cleared, you know, and once again, we're here at, you know, beautiful Burbank, California, Yakumi, uh, here in Burbank. And check this place out, you guys. You know, you guys don't want to miss it. But once again, thank you guys so much for joining me on this incredible sushi adventure here at the Sushi Traveler. And I got to give a big, big thank you to the man himself, Chef Rush. Chef, thank you. thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's been an honor. Pleasure. And remember, guys, follow him, Instagram, Real Chef Rush on YouTube, and all his info will be in the description down below. And also, don't forget, guys, follow us on Instagram. Got to keep that 100,000 more because you know what? Once 150,000 comes, you never know what could be next. And don't forget, Steve Cha, man behind the camera. The magician with the lens. Follow him. His information's down below. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe out there. On to the next.